Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose. If you are new here, I would love it if you consider subscribing. And if you do get value from this, please like and share it or comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. So the message that wants to come through today is to the Divine Feminine who's been on this journey for a while and really doing the soul work, really doing the inner work and the shadow work. You are stepping into a whole new way of being. There are new opportunities opening up to you and you may be able to sense them on an energetic level and even intuitively know uh, what some of these things are that are trying to make their way into your experience. You can feel them, but you can't quite see them yet and the road or path to them is still unclear and that is intentional. You are in what feels kind of like a holding pattern where you aren't really able to access your old self anymore and you're not able to fully step into your new self quite yet, but you can feel it. And so the image that's coming up is a boat that's at sea that has left the shore and in all directions on the horizon, all you can see is, is the sea, the water. You can't see the land. And this is because you have completely left the shore of your old self, but you haven't quite arrived on the new shore, the new beginning, your new way of being. And so you're kind of in this no man's land because there's some final things that need to be cleared up that cannot go with you. There's some final lingering remnants in your energetic field that have been bubbling up. Uh, this is a timeless reading, but at the time of this recording, this has likely been happening since probably the new moon in January. These lingering remnants of lack, scarcity, fear, not feeling good enough, giving your power away, not feeling worthy, shame, any deeply rooted emotions that you are here to experience and allow, and also situations, conditioning, patterns that you're here to alchemize. All of this is bubbling up to the surface because over the next few weeks, as you begin to fully step into your power more and fully embody this new empowered version of yourself, which is already happening, these final things cannot go with you. These, these things that are, have been hooked into your energetic field for lifetimes and you are now at the point where you are setting yourself free. You are truly becoming the alchemist. You are alchemizing all old pain and hurt and sorrows and suffering into purpose and into something much larger than yourself. So many of you are being called to free yourself in many different ways and to step more fully into your dharma and your soul's calling, what you're meant to do here, what you're meant to share here in this lifetime. This will look different for everybody, but you're being called to leave behind the old and everything that is not serving you. And this may look like a relationship. This may look like an old career that's no longer in alignment, but you're being called on a deep soul level. Your soul is 100% on board. You've been through you know, the dark night of the soul many, many times. You've done the inner work. You've shined the light on your shadow and you have integrated it. And now it is just time to step into this new way of being. You are literally birthing yourself anew from the ashes of your old self. And this period right now that may feel like you're a little stagnant. It may feel like you're even backpedaling, like you're going backwards. Like you may feel that you're, you're not as far along on your ascension and awakening as you thought you were. And this is because 
there are things that needed to get cleaned up. And so what feels right now as possibly a step backwards is really just going to turn out to be a huge leap forward, right? So what you feel is setting you back is actually going to catapult you forward because when you clear up these final leaks in your vibration and you open yourself to allow and receive on a whole new level, you're going to be jumping timelines. You're in the process of this right now. You're collapsing uh, timelines and you're entering in a whole new, a whole new, not even a new chapter. You're stepping into a whole new book. You're writing the story as you go. And right now, being in this state of unknown, this beautiful, mysterious, magical place of the unknown where you can't quite see you know the path forward but you know in your soul there's no going back there's absolutely no going back to the old version of you that boat has sunk there is no going back to that shore and in this state of unknowingness and when I say unknowingness, it's, it's in the mind. The mind can't see. But in your heart, there's a knowingness, right? So when I say unknowingness, I mean conceptually, the path is unclear. But get used to this, sister, because this path is taken one step at a time. You're releasing the need to know in advance all of the moves. The knowingness that you have is in your heart. And it's not a conceptual knowing. It's not an understanding. It's a deep knowing in your core that you are being divinely guided. And right now it is important for you to trust and surrender and continue to let go of everything that is not serving you. And you will know what those things are because they've been bubbling up to the surface for you to see them, for you to Accept them for what they are, for you to see them clearly, and for you to move on, and for you to release and let go. And as you surrender to this, and as you trust, and not only in yourself, but also in the divine, and you trust in that inner knowing, which can't put your finger on exactly how all of this is unfolding for you, but you know that it is, and you know that there are major blessings shored up for you when you reach that shoreline, when you're finally able to come in to shore and enter this new beginning, this rebirth, this new book that you're writing for yourself. And I use the metaphor as a book because this is a story, the story of your life. This is all a story that you get to write. You get to play the part that you want to play. You are creating this. You are the master alchemist. You are the divine creating through this persona, this avatar that is you. And you get to write the script. You get to write the script, but you're closing the book. You're closing the book on this old chapter where you were always in a place of disempowerment, powerlessness, fear-based consciousness, right? Making decisions rooted in fear, lack, scarcity, or a feeling of unworthiness. And you are fully opening up and claiming your divine sovereignty. And because of this, a whole new world is opening up to you, a whole new timeline. So this message just wanted to come through as a message of encouragement as a message of cheering you on. I see you. I feel you. I am you. I know you. I love you. You have been through so much on this journey. So much pain, so much suffering, often in solitude and silence. Most people don't even know of what you've been through. And you are coming out the other side like the warrior goddess that you are. And being called to step into a whole new phase where you're being able now to shine your light 
for yourself, for your community, for others. You're asked to shine brightly in your authentic truth. Fully claiming your divine sovereignty and worthiness and settling for nothing less than you truly deserve. And so I am cheering you on. I applaud you on this journey. It's a courageous journey. You face your fears head on and you choose consciously to no longer numb out to them or run away from them or suppress them and you face them courageously head on and you alchemize them. And this is where you're at right now. You are the magician. And if there's one other tarot card that wants to pop up as a metaphor for this message, it is the high priestess. You intuitively know that you are being guided and that you're in the right place and that even though in the physical 3D some things may not be making sense right now and it may look like you've you've been going backwards or backtracking, but you know that this is just you being prepared for something so much larger than what you can even wrap your mind around. And you are becoming the channel, the vessel that allows spirit to pour through you, through your heart and out into the world to help through your unique wisdom, your unique medicine, your gift, your art, whatever you're meant to share. You are the high priestess, you are this divine channel, you are this vessel, and you have integrated your lower chakras now to where you can completely flow this energy through you. It's completely grounding into the 3D reality through the lower chakras, and you're now able to allow this to flow through your heart space and out into the world. Your heart is the bridge between heaven and earth and you have been integrating your chakras and now this is the phase where you get to shine your light through your heart, through heart-centered consciousness, through divine service, through divine will. You get to express yourself freely in your most authentic truth and this is an exciting time and I am so excited to be a soul sister on this journey with you. If you would like support on this journey in fully awakening and embodying your divine feminine essence and fully claiming your sovereignty on this journey, then I welcome you to check out Embody the Empress. You can find that below in the caption. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.